course, Reno and Sparks have been saturated with classic cars this past week, but the love for the oldies may be changing. On your side, News 4's Kim Burroughs tells us how that could affect Hot August Nights, an event that's been a staple here for 33 years. The 1950s made a fierce return. This, you know, you come here and you see your dream cars, cars you may have had before. Show and shine from a generation who appreciates the classics. We've been coming for about, uh, about 30 years. The hair may be silver, but the cars are gold. You know, they just don't care for the cars like we do. Ray Black owns this 1963 and a half Ford Galaxy. The Californian has been proudly showing it off at hot August nights for 20 years. I owned one when I was uh, a lot younger in 1963, so uh, we decided to uh, build us another one. Will the younger generation appreciate these vehicles? Will they spend the money to restore them? What are they going to do in, a, in 10 years? Are they going to have an Audi or something to drive around and say it's a muscle car? I would, I would hope that they still appreciate them. Um, that would break my heart, actually. <laughs> you may not see as many 40s, 50s, and 60s classics in the coming years. Hot August Nights is adjusting to that. We will continue to change to adapt to their culture. Over the years, the event increased the age of the cars to include the late 1970s, vehicles that appeal to a younger crowd. We don't want to get too far too fast because this is a nostalgic classic car show, so we don't want to have cars in an event. You know, a 2002 Honda Accord is not going to ever happen. So we, we got to stick with our, our, our roots, stick with who we are and what this car show is all about. The younger generation may not appreciate these classic show cars, they're making noise with a different kind of classic. Yeah! This event is less about the shine and more about the show. All right, my money's on the roadster. The smoke, the rubber, the sound, the people. Old cars never die, they just go faster. The drag race and burnout draws in the younger crowd. I come out to all of them. Heidi Schnepp races this 64 Buick special in honor of her dad. My father passed away and left me this car, so I raced it here. He used to race here with my brother, and uh, so I race it for him now. It is uh, an amazing feeling. I can't even describe it when I'm in the car. Heidi's dad passed down the love for this classic to his kids, and they're passing it on to their kids. Lucas is Heidi's nephew. I'm going to race him when I'm older. And that's what Hot August Nights is banking on, that the passion is passed down through the generations. But me, I, I got a little two-year-old. I'm trying to, trying to get him into it. That will keep the hot rods revving and the quieter classics cruising. In Reno, Kim Burroughs reporting. Well, the Hot August Nights executive director says they'll continue to change and adjust to adapt to the younger culture. They now market to the younger audience on social media. In years past, with the older generation, they'd advertise in the newspaper and through mailings. Well, if you're sad to see this year's classic car show drive off into the sunset, don't worry because they're making a comeback in less than two months. On October 5th, Hot August Nights will host their new 2019 Fall Frenzy. This is happening at the Baldino's, uh, Baldini's excuse me, Sports Casino, and it will be the last show and shine of the year. But then starting next spring, the Atlantis Casino will host classics and cocktails. Starting today, the tickets to the 2020 Spring Classic Car Show are available for purchase.